Hey there, my family. This is your brother, Dana, and I'm coming to you from the city of Atlanta. You know, the decision today from the Supreme Court was not a shock to me because we know that every system in this nation, including the justice and the Supreme Court, was made to sustain, maintain, and above all else, protect white supremacy, white power, white privilege. But see, this is what my white family don't understand. And what they don't understand is the time of us Gentiles is up. The time of the Gentiles is up, white family. So it doesn't matter about your military power. It doesn't matter about your president in the office. It doesn't matter even about the Supreme Court's decision to protect your white supremacy. Because the Bible says that the time of the Gentiles will come to a fulfillment. And you are the generation to see and witness the fulfillment. Luke 21, 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Those are our black brothers and sisters. And will be led away captive into all nations. That was our black brothers and sisters, ancestors that were taken into all nations by the Atlantic slave trade. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down by the Gentiles who are our current white Ashkenazi Jewish people. And look up what ish on the end of the word means in the English language. And these Jewish Gentiles will trodden down Jerusalem until the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled. To you, my Gentile family members, the time of our reign has been fulfilled. It is now time for Jacob to rise to the head. Our black brothers and sisters that we have held captive underneath white supremacy for more than 400 years they are the real Hebrews of the Bible. And what took place in Egypt to the powerful Pharaoh and his kingdom will be exactly what takes place into this mystery Babylon, the United States of America. As God, or the Most High God, comes to set his precious chosen children, our black brothers and sisters, the real Hebrews of the Bible, free. And so there is no Supreme Court ruling. There is no president, no army, no intelligence that you can have to hold back the Most High Yah God coming to get his children. Remember, Pharaoh thought he was all that in a bag of chips too. <laughs> Shalom. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakak Radash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching this truth that's going all around the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. This is your brother Itazawan from Great Millstone and St. Louis, all right, and so we saw this clip of Dana, all right, and um, he's been around for a number of years, you know, other brothers have, you know, done lessons on his, uh, I guess you would call TikToks or whatever um, over the years, all right, and whom I, I suspect is a speckled bird Israelite, you know, he may look like the other nations, you know, but he could be, he could be an Israelite. Anyway, so the whole premise of this lesson, and it'll be real short, is that <clears throat> so you have a, a man that looks like, you know, a so-called white man, right? And he, he, he says white family and that kind of thing, all right? Um, 
But since he looks that way, like looks like he may be an Edomite, to all of you so-called Christians out there, you black Christians who, who go to the black church and particularly uh, you women who think that um, the scriptures and uh, salvation apply to everybody. Now, since a so-called white man, a man that looks like he might be white, has told you this, do you believe it now? Because you refuse to believe the prophets of the Lord that's in front of you today, right? Because there's no possible way so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans could be the children of Israel, right? But since the so-called white man said it, do you believe it? You know, because that's what it seems like it takes because Jake is looking for validation from somebody of the white, so-called white race, right? To give you validation as to who you really are. Or maybe they're looking for some, you're looking for Joe Biden or, or Obama to, to come out and tell you, say, yeah, you niggas, you spicks and you Indians, you know, you, you really are the children of Israel. Then you soft ass Christians, you will believe it. You see? Now we'll get right to the point. This is 2 Ezra 6. We're jumping right there, verse 7, and it reads, And then I, I, Salaki, then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Which is what he was talking about. The reign of the other nation, right? Esau, Edom, their reign is over. Their time is up, okay? And the new world is getting ready to hit this place, right? Now, before all that happens, sure, there's going to be destruction, there's going to be famine, and so on and so forth, okay? But the Lord Yahweh, right, is going to save his elect, okay, through Yahweh Shai, right? And the heavenly hosts, uh, when what World War Three is in the midst, you see, to bring this kingdom in with violence, all right, or to bring his kingdom in. All right. So going on, it says, and he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. And that's this current age right now. OK, where the so-called white race has been ruling. It's clear cut. It's simple. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob, who is who are the 12 tribes, right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. The hand of man is betwixt the heel and the hand. Other questions, as is asked thou not, okay? So, you know, Yahweh Shah is going to pull Esau out of power, right? Thus, the similitude of Jacob and Esau, all right, when Jacob's hand was on his heel to pull him out of power. You see, now let's get a couple more and we'll be done. I'll make this real short. He went into Luke, right, and I think his verse was the 24th verse, but let's start up just a little bit, all right. This is Luke 21 and 20, and, and we're just jumping right here. And when you, you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter there into. For these be the days of vengeance, that, that all things which are written may be fulfilled, right? So there's a prophecy or there are prophecies that need still yet to be fulfilled. But in this case, we look at it from the time of uh, 70 AD, when the Gentiles, if you will, all right, the Romans, who were also the Greeks, besieged Jerusalem around 70 AD or so, okay, and pushed the Israelites out, right? And many of the Israelites, or the Jews, if you will, fled into the interiors of what you know as Africa today. Okay? All right, but this would also come at a later time as well. All right? Verse 23, But woe unto them that are with child 
and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. What people? The people that are being pushed out of their land, the Jews, you see? Now, in that you have a mixture also of, of the other ten tribes, okay, because though the ten tribes came out of the Assyrian captivity and came over to this part of the world, okay, uh, still there was remnants of them even even back in those days, all right, when when the um, Judah, Benjamin, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi were pushed out, okay, all right, so that's what that's going into. We'll finish it here at verse 24, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations, right? All nations, right? Because why? That's part of the curse. Part of the scatter the scattering is part of the curses that you get from Deuteronomy 28 that you hear us read about so much, okay? That we will go into all nations, okay? And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, right? In that place today with the Ashkenazis, right, the small hats, okay, the hook nose, you know, these are bastards who are dwelling in that land. They don't belong there, okay? That's just what it is. That's a biblical fact, you see? And these other nations are known as Gentiles, right? But your so-called Christian church try to tell you, well, all so-called blacks, brown people, you know, you, you, you all are Gentiles. Well, we had a Gentile state of mind. But your bloodline goes back to, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But you were in a Gentile state of mind. And most, most of you niggas today in the church, you still in a Gentile state of mind. You can't get it. Okay? And we do these videos every single week. You know? Um, and it's really for the edification of those who are, who are coming back to the Lord, to the elect. Okay? Because we understand it. 66.6% .6 of our people won't understand it. All right, that's two thirds to do the math. Okay, let's read 24 again. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled, which is what he was, you know, alluding to. All right, that basically their time for rulership is up. All kingdoms have an expiration date. The kingdom that is on its way, the kingdom of Jacob. Right, the heavenly kingdom, the new heaven, all right, and all the other terms that's used to describe it is a kingdom, a kingdom that's coming that will not have an end. Okay, where the Israelites will rule all these other nations. The heavenly Father gave them their time to rule, right? And we've been all in these various different captivities where they have ruled over us, but now the kingdom that's coming will be a kingdom for Jacob. Okay. And then we're going to rule for eternity. You see? Verse uh, 26. Men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And that cloud is his chariot. You know, uh, those of us who are in this truth, you know, and those who have been listening uh, to the apostles and the other brothers who are preaching, all right, you visited camps and so on and so forth, you understand that the cloud is referring to the chariots, right? What the world ignorantly calls UFOs, all right? It's not talking about some white, puffy cloud in the sky. It's talking about the chariots of the Lord, all right? Going on to verse 28, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Okay, there's a time period in which this is still the part that needs to be fulfilled. Okay, because we haven't, the kingdom hasn't come yet, right? Yahweh has not come yet with his cloud and his army. Okay, so we're still waiting on this part. All right, because that's why it says right there, his return. Okay, so it's talking about his return. This has not been fulfilled yet. You see? Now, let's go on here, all right? Because the truth is what it is. Either you can understand it or you can't, you know? Um, 2 Corinthians 13 and 8, let's just go to it. Um, for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. 
Right. So anybody that comes up against the truth, the only thing you're going to do is prove it to be more true. Okay. So uh, you so-called Christians out there, all right, that think that salvation and that Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, died on the cross for everybody's sins. That's not true. Okay. He died for the children of Israel. And, more, and most importantly, at this particular point, right, for the elect of Israel. You know, we're the only people that will tell you about the elect of Israel. That small remnant inside of Israel that the Lord is seeking for right now. All right. I mean, they're all going to be saved. Right. So the men are doing the work. Right. To uh, get to the ears of the elect of the Lord. You see. Let's go over here to uh, 1 John and we jump in right here, verse uh, 18. It's like, you know, little children, it is the last time, right? And we're living in these last days. Though the apostles, when they did their work over, what, 2,000 years ago, you know, after Yahweh ascended back, okay, um, the work started. Well, really, with Yahweh in his ministry. But when you're looking at the apostles going forward, you know, Peter, Paul, John, James, okay, all the apostles, their work started back then up until this present day. The work is still being done until we get to that climax, if you will, of the showdown, okay, between these devils and Yahweh Shai and the, uh, the angels, okay, that are going to come back. Okay, because you still have the MOTB that's out there. You still have uh, Jacob's trouble with famine, all right, pestilences and so forth, all right? Then you have WW3, all right? All those things are still on the table, right? And you're seeing some of it uh, in this day and age, all right? Verse 18 again, little children, it is the last time. And as you have heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time, right? So even in the faith false Christian doctrine, you have this idea of one particular person, one that's the antichrist. No, it's anybody that comes against the truth of this gospel is an anti amashiach okay? You are antichrist when you come up against the truth of the scriptures. And so most of you, most of you damn, uh, black Christians, you're, you're an antichrist within yourself, okay, because you refute what the scriptures say, okay, because you've taken hold to a false doctrine. Verse 19, they went out from us, but they were not of us, for if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us, right, it's false brotherhood, okay, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it. Right, we know the truth now, okay? And that no lie is of the truth, right? All lies will be dispelled, and that's what you're seeing now. So again, to you so-called black Christians, all right, since a white man, as you would see it, told you this or said this, do you believe it now? Do you believe what the Hebrew Israelites have been telling you since a white, so-called white person told you, right? Because that's what it seems like you're looking for, right? There's no way that those guys standing out there on the corner with those rough beards and rough garments, they, they can't be the men of the Lord. They, they don't know what they're talking about. That's what all of you mock and say, okay? Last scripture, we'll go into Isaiah. Again, all right, proving the point. Okay, that Jacob will be saved, right? Isaiah 41 and 8, and it reads, but thou, but thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen. You see that? So he chose Jacob, not Esau, not any other nation, okay? The seed of Abraham, my friend, the Lord calls the Israelites his friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Right. 
So to re to have the the prophets of the of the Lord preaching today, right? And it's it's so strange to the people of the world, okay, that they would they would think that there's no possible way that these people would know anything about the scriptures, right? Because why? You don't have initials behind your name, right? That you didn't go to some school. So they can't possibly be breaking down the scriptures correctly. You see? And you think that the Lord has cast away his people and that he's opened up the door for all other nations but cast away his own people. It's telling you that he, that he didn't do that. Okay? That we are the servants of the Lord. All right? We'll read it again. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Right. And you can liken that and say, through Yahweh Shai, who is the right hand of the Lord. That's how we're going to get redemption. That's how we're going to get salvation. Through the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. All right? His right hand. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. Right? So all you fake false Christians out there, because the real Christians are the Hebrew Israelites, you fake false Christians out there, okay, you're going to be put to shame. All right, and you're already being confounded now. Okay, they shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them, even them that contend with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord, how thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, right? So, you know, because we are weak, feeble men and in this flesh, you know, uh, we are vulnerable like a worm would be, okay? A worm, when he crawls out of the grass or out of the ground, he's vulnerable. You know, the sun will scorch it and dry it out. A bird will pick it up and eat it. You know what I mean? It'll be trampled on. That's how we are in these feeble bodies, right? So we have to rely on the scriptures to build us up and we wait patiently for our Savior to come and return and redeem us, you see? Going on, uh, it says, Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, you see? So you can go back in there and read the rest of it, but just to give you a point that the Lord is going to redeem Jacob, all right? And so for you Christians out there, since you look at a so-called white man and he tells you the truth, do you believe it now? All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, Shalom.